Hi kids, it's time to learn with Miss K. Oh, look at what we have here. It's a supermarket. But it's just pretend supermarket for playing. It's filled with colorful fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are great for you because they are full of vitamins and minerals to make your body healthy and strong. Let's see if your favorite fruit and vegetable is here. We have two carts full of them. Come and help Miss Kay name each of them. First up, we have the crunchy and yummy corn. Corn! Did you know that corn is not only tasty, but also packed with fiber? <laughs> That's right! Fiber helps keep our tummies full and happy. Corn comes in many colors like yellow, white, and even purple. But this one is a yellow corn. Corn. This is a corn. Next on our list is the juicy tomato. Tomatoes are filled with vitamins and minerals that are super good for us. Plus, they're great for our eyesight because of lycopene. Fun fact, tomatoes are actually a fruit, not a vegetable. This is a tomato. Tomato. Now let's talk about mushrooms. These little guys are like nature sponges. They soak up all the goodness from the soil. They're also low in calories and rich in antioxidants. Mushroom. Did you know that there are over 2,000 different types of mushrooms? That's a lot! Wow, this is a mushroom. Mushroom Moving on to something sweet and fuzzy The peach Peaches are full of vitamin C Which helps keep our immune system strong Plus, they're so juicy and delicious Peach the peach is a member of the rose family. How cool is that? Peach. This is a peach. Peach. Let's cool off with some honeydew. This refreshing fruit is packed with water, which helps keep our body hydrated on hot summer days. It's like nature's own sports drink, honeydew. Fun fact, honeydew is a type of melon and is related to cantaloupe and watermelon. This is honeydew. Honeydew. Our next fruit is an apple. Apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? That's because apples are loaded with fiber and vitamin C. Plus, they're a crunchy snack that's perfect for on the go. Fun fact, there are different colors of apples such as red, green, and even yellow. But this one 
is a red apple. Red apple. This is a red apple. Time to crunch into some carrots. These orange beauties are not only great for our eyes, but also for our skin. That's thanks to all the beta carotene they contain. Carrots. These are carrots. Carrots. My daughter Ellie loves carrots so much because they are good for the eyes. Next are grapes. Grapes are packed with antioxidants and are a super fun snack to eat. Plus, they come in different colors like red, green, and purple. This one is a purple grape. These are purple grapes. Grapes. Did you know that grapes are actually berries? Oh my goodness! Who knew, right? Say hello to the fuzzy kiwi. Did you know that kiwis have more vitamin C than oranges? They are also loaded with fiber, which is great for our digestion. Or it's great for our tummy. This is a kiwi. Kiwi. This is a kiwi. Kiwi. Time to get our crunch on with some cabbage. Cabbage is full of vitamins and minerals that keep our bodies healthy and strong and it's a key ingredient in yummy dishes like coleslaw. Cabbage is one of the oldest vegetables dating back thousands of years ago. Oh my goodness! This is a cabbage. Cabbage. This is a cabbage. Cabbage. Let's peel into some juicy oranges. Oranges are famous for their vitamin C content, which helps us fight off colds and flu. Plus, they're so sweet and juicy. This is an orange. Orange? Orange! Time to enjoy some sweet strawberries! Did you know that strawberries have more vitamin C than oranges? They're also packed with antioxidants to keep our bodies healthy. Strawberries!
These are strawberries. Strawberries. Time for the next one. Watermelon. Let's cool down with some refreshing watermelon. Watermelon is mostly water. That's why it's called watermelon. It helps us keep hydrated. Plus, it's full of vitamins A and C, which are great for our skin. This is a watermelon. A slice of watermelon like in the story of the very hungry caterpillar. Now it's time to taste something out of this world. Star fruit. Star fruit is rich in vitamin C and fiber and it gets its name from its unique star shape when sliced. So when you slice it, you'll see a shape of a star. This is a star fruit. Star fruit. This is a star fruit. Star fruit. Let's get into the spirit of fall with some pumpkin! This is a pumpkin! Pumpkins are loaded with vitamins and minerals and they are so versatile. You can roast them, puree them, or even carve them into jack-o'-lanterns. Pumpkins are a type of squash. This is a pumpkin. Time to add some spice to our lives with the red chili peppers. These fiery little peppers contain capsaicin, which can help boost metabolism and reduce appetite. Plus, they add a kick to our favorite dishes. This is a red chili pepper. Red chili pepper. Let's brighten up our plates with some yellow pears. Yellow pears! Pears are packed with fiber which helps keep our digestion on track. So it makes our tummy feel good. Plus, they're sweet and juicy. A perfect snack anytime! This is a yellow pear. Yellow pear. Next, we have the unique and super healthy bitter melon. Bitter melon is like a superhero for our bodies because it helps control blood sugar levels and is packed with vitamins and minerals. 
Bitter Melon Fun fact, bitter melon is also known as bitter gourd or bitter squash and is commonly used in Asian cooking. This is a bitter melon. Bitter melon. Now let's explore the crisp and juicy Asian pear. Asian pear. Asian pears are full of fiber and vitamin K, which is great for our bones. Plus, they have a very unique crunchy texture which is so satisfying to bite. Fun fact, Asian pears are also known as apple pears because of their apple-like shape and pear-like texture. This is an Asian pear. Asian pear. Next, let's talk about potato. Potato is not only delicious but also nutritious. It's a great source of vitamins and minerals, especially potassium, which is important for our muscles and heart. We say potato for one, and we say potatoes for two or more potato. They are used to make kids' favorite french fries. This is a potato. Potato. Time to get our green on with some broccoli. Broccoli. Broccoli is packed with vitamins and minerals including vitamin C and calcium. Steam it, roast it, or even eat it raw in salad. This is a broccoli. Fun fact, broccoli is a member of the cabbage family and is closely related to cauliflower. This is a broccoli. Broccoli. Let's add some color to our salads with radishes. Radishes are low in calories but high in fiber and vitamin C. Plus, they add a spicy crunch that's oh so delicious. It kind of looks like a carrot because it's a root vegetable, but this one is white. Radish. This is a radish. Radish. This is a radish. Time to peel into some bananas! Bananas! Bananas are packed with potassium, which helps keep our hearts healthy. Plus, they're a great source of energy for all our fun activities.
banana. This is a banana. Banana. These are white mushrooms. They're low in calories, high in protein, and full of vitamins and minerals like vitamin D and potassium. White mushrooms. Fun fact, white mushrooms are also known as button mushrooms because they look like button. Let's end our fruity and veggie adventure with some eggplant. Eggplants are low in calories but they are very rich in fiber and antioxidants. You can grill them, bake them, or even use them in stir fries. Eggplant. This is an eggplant. Now that we learned the names of some fruits and vegetables, it's time to go shopping. Let's get a basket. Oh, the basket is empty, which means nothing is inside. Can you please say empty? Empty. Can you name each fruit and vegetable as I put them in my basket? Awesome! Oh look, my basket is starting to get full, but we're not done yet, let's put some more. Let's walk over here, but this time, we are going to name the color of each fruit and vegetable. The grape is purple, purple grapes. The mushroom is brown, brown mushroom. The orange is orange. The kiwi is brown. The outside part of the watermelon is green. The inside part or the flesh is color red. The peach has an orange color. The star fruit is green. The strawberry is red.
The stalk part of the corn is green, while the flesh or the part that we eat is yellow. The broccoli is green. This pear is yellow. The carrot is orange. The apple is red. The Asian pear is green. The banana is yellow. The potato is brown. The mushroom is white. The pumpkin is orange. The eggplant is purple. The chili is red. The bell pepper is green. The honeydew is green. The radish is white. This basket is now empty. And our second basket is now full. Because all of the vegetables and fruits are here now. Now, let's go back and count how many fruits and vegetables do we have in this basket. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We have 24 vegetables and fruits. Well, it's so much fun to learn about fruits and vegetables with you. Don't forget that eating fruits and vegetables is good for you to make you healthy and strong. Miss K enjoyed spending time with you today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. See you soon! Hi kids, let's learn some alphabets with Miss K. Come on. Oh no, where did the alphabets go? Can you help Miss K find all the letters? Let's go. Oh look, I found a gooey. Let's see what's inside. Can you help Miss K? Ooh, let's find out. What is in here? We got it! It's the letter A! A! Let's see if there's another thing here. Ooh, what is inside? Looks like something is inside. It's... It's ant. Ant. A. 
is for ant. A is for ant. A. Let's put the letter A on our puzzle. A. Look what I found. I found a ladybug. Let's open and see what's inside. Oh, let's see the letter here. We found the letter B. B. Let's see what object is inside. We found a butterfly. Butterfly. B for butterfly. B for butterfly. Let's put the letter B on our puzzle. B. Oh, look, we found a jar. Let's see what's inside. Let's see the letter. What's inside it? Oh, you see it? It's the letter C. C. Now let's see what's the object inside. Oh, we found a caterpillar. Caterpillar. C for caterpillar. Let's put letter C on our puzzle. C. We have a basket. The basket is color purple. Let's see what's inside the purple basket. Let's remove the eggs. Ooh. We found the letter D. D. Let's see what object is inside. We found a dragonfly. Dragonfly. This is a dragonfly. D for dragonfly. D. Time to put letter D on our puzzle. D. Our discovery bin. Let's find out what letters are here. We have different kinds of noodles. We have red, we have green, oops, green, orange, and so many more. Miss K found the letter E. E. Let's find the object that starts with the letter E. Oh, I found something that has a tail and it's colored gray. Do you know of something that starts with a letter E that has a tail and has gray color? And it has legs. It's elephant. This is an elephant. E is for elephant. E. What letter is this? Letter E. E. We have a basket right here. Do you know the color of the basket? The basket is green and of course there are green eggs inside. Let's see what we could find in this basket. Oh. We found the letter F. F. We also found a fly. Fly. 
F is for fly. F is for fly. Let's put letter F on our board. F. Vroom, 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 vroom. What is this? A car. Someone is on the car. But let's find out the letter first. We found the letter G. We found the letter G inside the car. G. And who is on the car? Let's see. Vroom, 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 vroom. Oh, it's a... Do you know what this is? It's a... Gorilla. Gorilla. G is for... Gorilla. Let's put the letter G. G. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I have a van. Van. There's a door. I wonder what letter is inside this van. Do you want to open it? Let's open. Can you please say, open. Oh, look. There's a... <gasps> There's something inside. I think we should open the entire van. I found the letter H. H. Do you have an idea what's inside this van that starts with the letter H? Let's open it. What is this? It's a... It's a hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. This is a hippopotamus. Look at the mouth. Can you yawn like a hippopotamus? Hi, hippo. H is for hippopotamus. Are you ready to put letter H on the board? H. H. What's inside this one? There are so many cute erasers. But we found the letter I. I. I is for insect. This is an insect. There are many kinds of insect. This one is cricket. Cricket is an insect. I is for insect. Let's put the letter I on the board. I, I. I wonder what's inside this pink basket. Can you see the letter? It's the letter J, J. And we have Jellyfish. Jellyfish. J is for jellyfish. J. This is the letter J. J. Look at what we found. There's a house here. We found the letter K. K. Letter K. Let's try to open what's inside. There's an owl. There's also a picture of giraffe and... Ooh! We found a picture of... Kitten. Kitten. Kitten.
kitten starts with the letter K. Kitten. Let's put letter K on our puzzle. K. I found an egg box. Let's see what's inside. Let's open it. Open. Oh, what letter is in here? Let's see. It's empty. But we found an orange cross. How about this one? Oh no, it's also empty. Oh, we found a green flower. And there's a letter. What letter is this? It's the letter L. L. Let's find the object that starts with the letter L here. Is it here? No, it's not here. But we found a purple heart. Let's try this one. Oh, we found a yellow star. But where is the object that starts with the letter L? Can you see it? It's... Lion! We found a lion. Roar, roar. L is for lion. L. Let's put the letter L on our board. L. I wonder what's inside this one. Shall we open it? I think we should. Open! What's in here? Oh, so many things. But let's find the letter here. Can you see the letter? It's the letter M. M. Now let's find the object that starts with the letter M. Hmm. Looks like we have a puzzle to solve. Let's find out this word. Oh, I found the other half. What is this? It's monkey. Monkey. M is for monkey. Monkey. Let's put the letter M on our board. M. Oh, we have our Sesame Street friends here. We have Elmo. We have, who is this? Abby Kadabi. Oscar the Grouch. And some more. Let's see what's inside. Oh, we also have Cookie Monster. And of course, Big Bird. But let's find out what letter is here. We found the letter N. N. And we have a puzzle to solve. N is for... Let's put our Sesame Street friends here. Nest. N is for nest. N. We can put the letter N on the board. N. What's inside this blue basket? Let's see. It's the letter O. O. What object is inside? It's octopus. Octopus. O is for octopus.
What letter is this? It's the letter O. O. Look, we have some shapes here. Let's see what letter can we find. It's the letter P. P. Let's see the object inside. We found a... Do you know what this is? It's a penguin. Penguin. P for penguin. Let's put the letter P on the board. P. Let's open this bag and see what's inside. Can you see a letter? We found the letter. What is this? Oh, it's the letter Q. Q. And we have a puzzle to solve. What is this? Look at the picture. Do you know what this is? That starts with the letter Q. It's queen. Let's build the puzzle. Q is for queen. Q. Q is for Queen. Q. Where shall we put the letter Q? Yes, right here. Letter Q. Oh, I have a treasure box. Let's see what letter we could find here and what object. Open. There are so many objects here. There's egg. There's a gingerbread man. But what letter is inside? Let's see. Looks like we found the letter R. 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 Let's find the object that starts with the letter R. Hmm. Can you see it? Does it start with a letter R? No, because this is a lion. How about this? Does it start with a letter R? No, it's horse. Can you see it? How about this one? Does it start with a letter R? Yes, it's a rabbit. Rabbit. Hi. R for rabbit. Hello. R. R for rabbit. Let's put the letter R on the board. R. Our discovery bin is right here. Let's see what letter we could find. Oh, we found a letter S. S. What the object is inside? Oh, what is this? It's a spider. Spider. S is for spider. S is for spider. S is for spider. Where will we put the letter S? Right here. S. 
Let's see what's inside this discovery bin. Hmm. We found the letter T. T. Now let's find the object that starts with the letter T in our discovery bin. Oh, can you see that? It has stripes. And it has a tail. Do you know of something that has a tail with stripes? Let's see. It's a tiger. Tiger. T for tiger. T. Let's put the letter T on our board. T. T. Our dino friends have letter here. We have a red dinosaur, purple dinosaur, blue dinosaur, and of course, green dinosaur. But what letter is in here? We found the letter U. U. And there's a puzzle to solve. What is this? It's umbrella. Umbrella. U for umbrella. U for umbrella. Let's put the letter U on the board. U. What's inside this green Play-Doh? Let's open! It's the letter V. V. Now let's see what's inside. It's violin. Violin. Violin starts with the letter V. Violin. What letter is this? It's letter V. What's inside this? Oh, we found the letter W. W. Let's see what object we could find here. It looks like we have a puzzle. Let's try to solve the puzzle and see what we could find. It's walrus. W is for walrus. Walrus. W. Let's put the letter W on the board. W. Ooh, look at our whale friend. I wonder what letter we could find here. Ooh, I saw a hammer. And I saw a letter. What can we find that starts with the letter X here? Let's try to hit the red ball. Ooh, did you hear that sound? What makes that sound that starts with the letter X? Let's hit the green ball. Whoa! And finally, the blue ball. It's a... Phone. X is for xylophone. X. Mm -hmm. 
Let's put the letter X on the board. X. Let's get something from our discovery bin. Oh, we found the letter Y. Y, and it looks like we have a puzzle to solve. Oops. What is this? It's a yo yo. Yo yo. Y for yo yo. Y. Y for yo yo. Y. What letter is this? It's letter Y. Y. I have a Play Doh. Let's open and see what's inside. I could feel something. <gasps> you see that, kids? I found the letter Z. Z. Can you think of a word that starts with the letter Z? Well, let's see here. What is this? Oh, look. Seems to be that there are stripes. Can you think of something that starts with the letter Z and has stripes? Hmm. What is this? <gasps> Ooh, look at the head. It's a... Zebra! Zebra starts with a letter Z. Zebra. Let's put the letter Z on the board. Z. Z. Great job, kids! We found all the letters of the alphabet and we learned some new words. Thanks for helping, Miss K. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. Yum, yum, yum. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pairs one two but he was still hungry on wednesday he ate through three plums one Two, three, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One, two, Three, four, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three. Four, five, but he was still hungry. 
on Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake. One ice cream cone. One pickle. One slice of Swiss cheese. One slice of salami. One lollipop. One piece of cherry pie. One sausage. One cupcake. And one slice of watermelon. Oh, so much food now. That night, he had a stomach ache. <laughs> the next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. And that's the story of the very hungry caterpillar. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Hi kids, it's time to learn with Miss Kay. Today, let's learn about farm animals. Oh no, where did the farm animals go? Let's find them. Oh look, do you know what this is? This is a barn. Barn. What is the color of the barn? The barn is red. Red barn. Let's see if our farm animal friends are here. Ooh, let's start with this one. Let's press it. Did you hear that? Let's try it one more time. Oh, what animal says oink, oink, oink? It's a pig! Yes, we found a pig! The pig is on the mud! The pig! Now, let's put it in our puzzle! Can you see where the pig is here? Can you point it? Oh, where are you, pig? Oh, is this a pig? Yes, you got it! Great job! Let's see if we can find some more. Hmm, what? <gasps> Did you hear that? Meh! <coughs> what animal says meh? <gasps> goat! This is a goat! Can you help Miss K put the goat on our puzzle? Hmm, where are you goat? Is this a goat? 
How about this? Mm, maybe this one. What do you think? Yes, it's a goat. Goat. Oh, look. What animal is this? Do you have a guess? Hmm, let's get it. It's a... Ooh, do you know what this is? It's a sheep. Sheep. The sheep says, ba ba. Sheep. Now let's put the sheep in our puzzle. Is this a sheep? How about this? Is this a sheep? <gasps> let's try this one. Great job! Let's find some more animals. Let's open the barn. Open! Can you please say it? Open! Hmm, Miss K is trying to open the barn. It's open now! I spot another farm animal. Do you have a guess what is it? It's a cow. Cow! Now let's put the cow in our puzzle. This is a cow. And the cow says, Moo. Is this a cow? How about this? Where is the cow? Is this a cow? Yay! Great job! Did you hear that? Which farm animal makes that sound? It's a hen. Hen. Oh, look, the hen has a chick. A chick is a baby hen. Beep, beep, beep. See that? A chick was hatched from the egg. Let's put the hen on the puzzle. Can you see where the hen is? The hen and the chick. Where are they? Hmm. Is this the picture of hen and a chick? No. How about this one? Let's try. Yes! It is the right picture. Hen and chick. Did you hear that? What animal makes that sound? It says, nay, nay. Do you have a guess? Well, let's see if your guess is right. It's a... It's a... Horse. Horse. This is a horse. The horse says, nay, nay. Let's put the horse inside the barn again. Let's put it on our puzzle. Do you know where the horse is? Hmm, let's see. Where are you, horse? Is this a horse? What do you think? Yes! This is a horse. Great job, kids! Oh, look! It's another farm animal. Do you know what is it? It's a duck and her ducklings. Ducklings are baby ducks. Now let's put them on the puzzle. Can you see the picture of the duck and the ducklings? Can you tell Miss K? Point it using your finger. Is this a picture of a duck and a duckling? Yes, you did it! Great job, kids! We found all of our farm animals and we put them back on the puzzle. 
but we're missing one more piece of the puzzle. Do you know what is it? We're missing the small red barn. Let's see if we can find the small red barn. Let's close the barn again. Can you please say close? Close. We closed the barn. Let's find the small red barn. Do you see it? Where is it? Miss K can't see it. Where are you, small red barn? Oh, I found it. What is the color of the barn? It is red. The barn is red. Red barn. Now let's put it on our puzzle. Where should we put the red barn? Can you see the picture of the red barn on our puzzle? Hmm, let's see. Is this a picture of a red barn? Yes! It's a red barn! Great job, kids! We solved our puzzle! We found all of the pieces for our farm. Thanks for helping Miss Kate today. I hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hi kids, it's time to learn with Miss Kate. Today we're going to learn words about vegetables and fruits. Do you want to play a guessing game with Miss Kate? Miss Kate will show you a picture and try to guess the name of the word. Let's start. This is a... This is a picture of... What do you think? Grapes. Grapes. These are grapes. Yum. What color are the grapes? The grapes are purple. Purple grapes. So yummy. This is a... Hmm. What is this? A carrot. Carrot. What color is a carrot? It is orange. Orange carrot. You can also do it like this one. <gasps> do you love eating carrots? My daughter Yan Yan loves carrots so much. This is. What do you think is this, kids? It's a fruit. It's... Pear. What color is the pear? Yellow. Yellow pear. This is a pear. Ooh! Red one with seeds on the outside. This is a Do you know now? Strawberry. Strawberry. What color is the strawberry? Red. Red strawberry. This is a strawberry. What is this? It's What is this? Do you know now? It's potato. Potato. This is a potato. What color is the potato? The potato is brown. Brown potato. This is... Tomato, tomato, what color is the tomato? Red, the tomato is red. This is a tomato. What is it? This is a... Let's put the other half. Do you know now? Broccoli, broccoli. 
What color is the broccoli? The broccoli is green. Green broccoli. This is a broccoli. Broccoli. How about this? Banana. This is a banana. What color is the banana? The banana is yellow. Yellow banana. What is this? Hmm. Do you know what is it, kids? Let's put the other half. Yay! This is a watermelon. What color is the watermelon? The watermelon is green. Green watermelon. This is a watermelon. Oh, look! Another fruit. And it's orange. Do you know a fruit that has an orange color? This is... This is an orange. What color is the orange? Orange. <laughs> orange. Orange. Ooh, this one. What is this? Do you have a guess? Apple. Apple. What color is the apple? Red. Red apple. This is an apple. Apple. This is a... Ta Do you know, kids? This is a pea. What color is the pea? Green. This is a green pea. Pea. This is a green pea. Ooh, green. Do you have a guess? What is this? It's cucumber. Cucumber. This is a cucumber. What color is the cucumber? It's color green. This is a cucumber. Oh, look, what color is this? Orange. It's orange. It's a very big. What is it? It's pumpkin. What color is the pumpkin? Orange. Orange pumpkin. This is a pumpkin. I have a last picture here. This is... Do you have a guess, kids? A... Peach. This is a peach. Peach. Now let's name all the fruits and vegetables we just learned. Potato. Potato. Cucumber, cucumber, peach, peach, pea, pea, strawberry, strawberry, orange, orange, watermelon, watermelon, pumpkin, pumpkin, pear, pear. Banana, banana, broccoli, broccoli, tomato, tomato, pear, pear, carrot, carrot, apple, apple, grapes, grapes. Hello dear friends, welcome to our fun learning adventure here in our channel. 
Today, we're going to meet some special friends. Do you have a guess who they are? Let's count one to three to see who they are. One, two, three. Oh, look. Look at what we have here. We have a box. And it says here, number blocks. We have a number blocks box right here. I'm wondering what's inside this box. Hmm, let's see what's on the cover. It says number blocks, math link cubes. Hmm, do you want to open it with Miss K? Come and let's open it so we could see what's inside. At the count of three, we will open the box. Let's say it all together, okay? One, two, three. Open! Let's open it. <laughs> Whoa, look at what we have. We have an instruction. Miss K will read it later. Oh, wow! We also have some sticker faces. There are different colors and there are different faces. And they are based from the number blocks character. They all look so fun and some of them look so silly. Ooh! We also have different cubes. This is what we call math link cubes and they're great for counting. Miss K wants to see if you know the colors. We have a blue. This is blue. This one is pink. Pink. This one is white. White. How about this one? This is yellow. Yellow. These cubes are green. Green. These cubes are indigo. Indigo. How about this one? Do you know what color is this? It's red. Red. This one is orange. Orange. And this one is gray. So there are different shades of gray here. We have dark gray and light gray. And of course, we also have dark purple and light purple. Sometimes they call it violet. We still have some more surprise. Hmm. What's inside this one? Let's find out later. We also have cards that represent each number block character from 0 to 10. And some fun activity worksheets that tie with an episode for our favorite number block show. I'm so excited! Let's put everything back here so we could start our activity. Do you know what the most exciting part is? The most exciting part is we get to build each character from 0 to 10. I can't wait to make all of them. Shall we start? Let's count 1 to 3 so we could clean up here. 1, 2, 3. It's all clean now. We can start building our number blocks character friends. For this activity, we are going to need our... Math link cubes. We will also need our sticker faces and of course 
this bag that we will find out what's inside later. Are you ready? Let's put all of them here. Now let's play a guessing game and let's see if you could guess each number black character. Don't worry, Miss K will give clues as we build them. Let's start with this one. This one is the number for nothing. It's one less than one. If you have a nothing of something, this is the number for you. Do you know what it is? It's... Hmm, let's find out if we could find the number here. It's... Zero! The number is zero because it's nothing. Now we can build the zero. Now we can build it. It's zero. Let's put zero right here. The next one is made from this block. Do you know what color is this? It's color red. This is red. This one is the first little block that ever was. Let's get a red faceplate and attach it. And of course, let's find a sticker face. So she may be the smallest, but she has lots of ideas and is always first to come up with a plan. Let's put the sticker face here. She is known for her big round eye and of course, red color. Do you know what it is? It's the number block. One! You're right, it's the number block one. So let's put one here. We finally made our number block one. Let's go to the next one. Our second number block friend is made from this color. What color is this? It's the color orange. Yes, it's orange. So we get one and two. And of course, we attach them together. We will also choose an orange face plate. And let's put it right here. Which face should we choose? Of course, the one with an orange face. So this character is like a pair of best buddies, always together. He is always there when you need a friend. Look, if we put the cubes together, it's like having Best friends who never want to be apart. He loves everything that comes in pairs. That is why he is known for wearing pair of purple eyeglasses. Do you know who is he? It's the number block. Hmm. It's the number block. What number is this? Two. Yes, it's the number block two. Can you please say hello to our number block two? Hello. Let's put it right here. Are you ready for the next one? The next one is made of this color. What color is this? It's color yellow. Yellow. So we will need this number of cubes. And of course, we have to put face plate one two let's leave the last cube open so we could see the shape which face should we choose hmm do you know which face 
Should we put on these yellow cubes? Of course, we have to use the one with the yellow face. Hmm, let's get it. And of course, attach it right here. So this one is a real performer. She is always juggling, putting on a show, or doing magic tricks to keep others entertained and happy. She likes saying, one, two, three, look at me. And she is known for her three pointed crowns on her head. But wait, before we forget, we also need to put the three juggling balls on her tummy. Can you see where the three juggling balls are? They are right here. So let's get them and then attach them here on her tummy. There it is. Can you guess who she is? It's the number block. Hmm, it's the number block. What number is this? Three. Yes, this is number three. Let's put it here. Whoops. <laughs> Let's put it back. Let's wave hello to the number three. Hello. Number three. The next one is made of this color. What color is this? It's the color green. Yes, it's the color green. So let's build it by getting this number of blocks. And of course, we have to get a face plate. Let's put the face plate. Which sticker face should we choose? Of course, the one with a green color. Let's put it and attach it right here. Perfect! So this one is the friendly block who is solid as a rock. He's always ready to help and he loves to laugh. Can you laugh? <laughs> he loves to be a square and he is known for his square eyes and green color. Let's count the corners of the square. One, two, three, four. Can you guess who he is now? It's the number block. What number is this? It's the number four. It's the number block four. And now we could put it here. Let's wave hi to number block four. Hi! The next one is made of this color. What color is this? It's the color blue. And we will build it using this number of blocks. And of course, let's put a face plate. Which sticker face should we choose? This one, because it's the color blue. Let's attach it. There it is. This one is a real star and the leader of the band. She's always got a high five and friendly encouragement for others. And she loves to count using her fingers. Can you count using your fingers? <gasps> wow, that's awesome. She is known for her. Look at her left eye. Do you know what shape is that? It's the shape of a star. Do you know how many sides a star has? Why don't we count them together? One, two, three, four, five. 
That's who she is. Who is this number block character? It's a number block. What number is this? Five. Yes, it's the number five. Let's put it right here. Let's wave hi to number block five. Hi. You can put it there. Our next number block friend is made of this color. Do you know what color is this? It's indigo. Indigo. Hmm. I wonder how many cubes should we use? This much. What should we get next? Let's put face plate here. And maybe we could put some more right here. There's a reason for that. Which sticker face should we choose? Hmm. Let's choose this one. Let's attach it on top. This one loves to roll her magic die and get everyone playing games. She loves to rhyme and she's pretty handy too. She can split into ones like this. Or she could also split into two. Like this one. Or she could split into three. But for now, let's make a single row. She is known for his dye spots on her body. Oh, well, we forgot something. Let's put some more sticker on her body because she is known for her dye spots. She is complete now. Look, she is known for her dye spots on her body and six eyelashes. Three eyelashes per eye. Who is she? It's the number. What number is this? Six. So this one is the number block. Six. Hi. The next one was hit by a rainbow and turned all seven colors. That's why he is the most colorful number block. Do you know the colors of the rainbow? Let's say them one by one so we could build our next number block friend. The first color is red. Right. How about the next one? The next one is orange. After orange is yellow. Yellow. After yellow is green. After green is Blue. We're about to complete it now. After blue is indigo.
indigo and the last color is violet oh look it's the color of the rainbow let's put a face plate hmm. let's use this color which sticker face should we choose for our most colorful number block let's choose this one because it has rainbow hair So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And look how colorful his hair is. It's made of the rainbow. Who is he? It's the number block. What number is this? Seven. Yes, it's the number block seven. Let's wave hello to our number block seven. Hello. The next one is made of this color. What is this color? It's the color pink. Pink. Hmm. Let's count. Let's choose these many cubes. And of course, let's not forget the face plate. Which sticker face should we choose? This one, because it has a pink color. So this number block is known by his superhero name, Octoblock. He's got eight arms or maybe legs or tentacles just like an octopus when he needs to run fast swim a long way or climb up high he changes to activate a unique special power each time he is known for wearing a superhero mask with eight spikes four spikes each eye and of course his pink color who is he? It's the number block. What number is this? It's number block eight. Yes, eight. Let's put it right here. There it is. The next one is made of this color. What color is this? It's the color gray. Yes. We will use this many cubes. You can count. That's a lot of cubes. And of course, let's put a face plate. Which sticker face should we use? This one because it has a gray color. This one is a square like four but bigger and stronger. He often gets a sickly nose and if he doesn't get a handkerchief just in time, his middle block shoots out in a giant sneeze like a chew. Can you pretend that you're sneezing? Achoo! <laughs> he is known for his square eyes, like four, but bigger. Again, he is made of gray colored blocks. Who is he? It's the number nine. Yes, this is nine. Can we wave hi to number block nine? Hi! Oh, I think we're on our last number block friend. 
It is made from this color. What color is this? It's the color white. And we will use this many muffling cubes. All of it! Oh my goodness, that's a lot! Let's not forget to put a face plate. Which sticker should we use? It's the one with a white face. Let's get it. There it is. So this one got two number links. That's like baby numbers. Look at her eyes. What shape are the eyes? They are star. So she's got two starry eyes with 10 point and two big hands so she can count on her fingers. She can even turn into a rocket shh, and blast off into space by counting down from 10. Oh, like a rocket. And of course, she is known for her white color. Who is she? It's the number block. What number is this? 10. This is number 10. Let's put number block 10 right here. There it is. We built all of our number block friends. Now let's arrange them again so we could all see them. Let's call our number block friends now. Can we please say number block friends? Ready? Number block friends. Ooh, I think they're coming. Starting with... Zero. The next one is... One. One. After one is... Here I come. Two. Two. The next one is... Three. Three. What's next after three? Here I come. Four. Don't forget the number five. Next is number six. And of course, number seven. Here I come. I am the number eight. Eight. We're about to finish. What's the next number? It's the number nine. And the last one, of course, it's number... <gasps> number 10! Now let's say their names once again. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you make it a little bit fast? Let's go. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make it a little bit faster than that. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Super duper 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 fast. Can you do that? Let's go. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, kids. Here they are, our number blocks friends from 0 to 10. Look at how amazing they are. 
That was so amazing and fun! We met all of our number block friends from 0 to 10. Thanks for helping Miss K today. Don't forget to like and subscribe because we are going to have more fun adventure with our number block friends. But for now, Miss K has to say bye. Can we wave bye to our number block friends? Bye! See you next time! Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. Pictures by Eric Carl. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow dog looking at me. Yellow dog, yellow dog, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me white dog white dog what do you see i see a black sheep looking at me black sheep black sheep what do you see i see a goldfish looking at me goldfish goldfish what do you see I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow dog. A blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, a goldfish, and a teacher looking at us. That's what we see. And that's the story of Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? Hi kids! I have a special surprise for you. I have a box of beans right here and there are some insects buried underneath the beans. So we are going to get them and then let's see if you could name them, okay? Are you ready? Let's go! Oh, I got one! What do you think is this? What do you think is this, kids? It's a... It's a... Spider! Have you seen a spider in real life? Well, this is how a spider looks like. Spider. There are so many different types of spider and this is one of them. Next, let's try to find some more. Mm, I got another one. Ooh, what's this? Let's flip it on the other side. It's a... Do you know now? A... Beetle. Beetle. There are different kinds of beetle. Like in our story, The Grouchy Ladybug, we learned about the stag beetle. And also, from the story, The Clumsy Click Beetle, we learned another type of beetle. So this one is beetle. Have you seen a beetle in real life? Well, this is how a beetle looks like. There are different kinds of beetles and there are different colors of beetle and this is one of them. Beetle. Next. Oh, this one is a... Ew. It's a little bit longer compared to the other two that we got. 
this one looks like it is praying. So we call it a praying mantis. Praying mantis. This is a praying mantis. Now let's see how a praying mantis looks like in real life. Praying mantis. Are you ready for the next one? Ooh, what is this? It has wings. And look at the eyes. This is a... What is your guess? Dragonfly. A dragonfly. This is a dragonfly. Now let's see how dragonfly looks like. This is a dragonfly. A dragonfly. Next one. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, what's this? A. I'll give you a clue. Buzz. Buzz. A B. B. See that? It's a B. It lacks some stripes, but it's actually a B. <laughs> now let's see how a B looks like. This is a B. B. Next one. Oh, what's this? Oh, <laughs> there's a bean that got stuck there. Do you know what is this? Looks like it's a fly. Fly. This is a fly. Fly. Now let's see how a fly looks like in real life. Fly. Get this one. Oh, do you know what is this? This is an ant. Ant, like in the story or song, the ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah, ant. Let's see how an ant looks like in real life. Ant. Oh, do we still have insects? Do we still have insects left? Oh, I think we do. Why don't we get this one? This one is a... What do you think? It's a... Grasshopper. Grasshopper. This is a grasshopper. A grasshopper. And this is how a grasshopper looks like. Ooh, we still have some left. How about this? It's a cricket. Chirp, 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 cricket. This one is a cricket. A cricket. Cricket. This is how a cricket looks like. Cricket. This is a scorpion. Now, if we see a scorpion in real life, it's important that we don't touch them without the permission of a knowledgeable grown-up. Let's see how a scorpion looks like. I think we only have few left and this one is a ladybug. This one is a ladybug. Ladybug. See that? Hi, ladybug. A ladybug. And this is how a ladybug looks like. Ladybug. Oh, I think we found all. Oh, I think we found. I, I thought we found all of them, but we still have three. So this one is a. What is this? Cockroach. Cockroach. This is a cockroach. Now, let's see how a cockroach looks like. Cockroach. This is a cockroach. And this one is a centipede. 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 This is a centipede. 
and the last one oh it's the same like the other one but this one is a little smaller it's a dragonfly fly 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 dragonfly oh i think we found all of the insects in our bin Thank you for helping Miss Kate today. Thank you for helping me name all the insects in my bin.